Okay, thanks for joining me again. Um, so we're going to pick up right where we left off from the last video with problem number five. Okay. Problem number five um, looks like this. It says, I have a picture for you. Okay, so let's draw a picture and hopefully this comes out okay. Here's my two lines. Okay, this one is going to be uh, 2y plus 28, and it should be degrees, 2y plus 28. This one is 4x plus 10 degrees. This one is 3x minus 5 degrees. And this one is going to be 4y plus 26. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to find x and y. Right, here's the question. Find x and y. Find x and y. Well, in order to do this, we need to understand the relationship between the angles with x and the angles with y. In this problem, these two angles have x in them. They are adjacent angles and they form this line. Therefore, they are a linear pair. So we have a linear pair with the x's. And we know that linear pairs are supplementary. So, 4x plus 10 plus 3x minus 5 is going to equal 180. And we combine our like terms, 4x and 3x is 7x. 10 minus 5 is 5. That equals 180. Let's subtract 5 from both sides. 7x equals 175. And we'll divide by 7. When you do this, you get x equals 25. So there's my value of x. So if I do the similar thing for y, again, look, the two angles with y are adjacent, and they form a line. Again, they are a linear pair. So we do the same idea. So again, linear pair. Same idea, 2y plus 28 plus 4y plus 26 should equal 180 degrees. And we combine our like terms, 2y and 4y is 6y, 28 and 26 is 54. That's 180. We subtract 54 from both sides. 6y equals 126 and divide by 6. And I believe we get y is 21. Okay, so linear pairs, by the linear pair postulate, they are supplementary. But you have to identify them from the very beginning. Uh, next problem. Another drawing for you. Let's take a look at this one. We will have, so this is number six, uh, getting two intersecting lines. Uh, and here we'll have six x degrees. And here we'll have four x plus 16 degrees, and here we have 11 y degrees. Okay, so here's your problem, and for this one, again, we have to identify the angle pairs. Now, you must work x's with x's and y's with y's. So you only see one y, so let's hold off on the y. Let's look at these x's. They do not share any sides. They share a vertex, and they're across from each other. These are vertical angles, and we should know that vertical angles mean congruence, which means their measures are equal. So 6x should equal 4x plus 16. Subtract 4x from both sides. We get 2x equals 16 and divide by 2. x equals 8. Okay? Now, in order to find the measurement of y, we need to use one of the x angles, because notice this 11y, and let's use this 6x, they form a linear pair. And again, we should know that linear pairs are supplementary. So to, to go slow, we will say the 11y plus 6x equals 180, supplementary. But we know what x is, right? So we can plug this value of x in here. And 6 times 8 is 48. So we can get 11y plus 48 equals 180. And now we can solve for y. Subtract 48 on both sides. 11y equals 
32 and divide by 11 and this is a common math fact of 11 times 12 is 132 and there's your y okay so again identify what kind of angles they are linear pair and solve okay I got two more for you here okay um, the next one now we're going to go into those algebra problems which I thought were the hardest ones you've dealt with so far a lot of people don't like algebra angle A and angle B are complementary angle A the measure of angle B the measure of angle B is three times the measure of angle A I want you to find both angles Okay, find both angles. So here's what we got to do. We have to interpret what this word complementary means. We should know that complementary means they add up to 90 degrees. So immediately, measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B equals 90 degrees. Immediately you should do that. And now here comes the tricky part. The measure of angle B, so I'll circle this. The measure of angle B is three times the measure of angle A. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute in for the measure of angle B three times the measure of angle A, three measure of angle A's. That first measure of angle A comes down and this is still going to equal 90 degrees. So now, instead of having two different angles, we have everything in terms of one angle, measure of angle A. We have one here and we have three there, that's four. Four measure of angle A equals 90, so we divide by four. And this comes out to be a decimal, the measure of angle A equals 22 0.5 degrees. So in order to find the measure of angle B, just take that and subtract it from 90, right? 90 minus 22.5 is 77.5. So the measure of angle B is 77.5 degrees. Okay, I have one more problem for you. Okay, and here is one more problem that I have for you. This is a toughie, and I'm glad you watched this video because it's really going to help you out on the, the test. All right, another one of these kind of problems. It's going to say um, angle A and angle B are complementary. Okay, this time though, all right, we're going to be a little bit trickier. The measure of angle B is two more than five times the measure of angle A. Find both angles. Okay, so angle A and angle B are complementary. Angle B is two more than five times the measure of angle A. Find both angles. So on this problem, again, hopefully right away, a different color, you say that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B equals 90 because they're complementary. So now here's the key phrase. The measure of angle B is two more than five times the measure of angle A. So here's measure of angle A. It stays the same. But what does that mean? Two more than five times the measure of angle A. Well, that means five measure of angle A's plus two. Five more than two that five or, or two more than five times the measure of angle A. Two more than five times the measure of angle A. And now this is a little bit more complicated, right? This substitution, but that's what that became. So one measure of angle A and five is six measure of angle A's. But we have this two hanging out. So subtract the two away. So we get six times the measure of angle A equals eighty eight. And we'll divide by 6. Okay, I should have chose better numbers, I suppose, because it doesn't look like they're going to come out to be even. So let's see. So we get the measure of angle A equals, do this in the calculator, 88 divided by 6. Okay, well, Mr. Chapel chose to use bad numbers. We're just going to round. 
Um, we're going to say it's 15 degrees. Okay, you get you get 14.66. But we're just going to round to 15 degrees. And then if we use the other, uh, if we plug it in, or we just subtract it from 90 because they're complementary, the measure of angle B equals 75 degrees. Okay. So again, because we rounded, you're not going to get exactly 15 and exactly 75. But it'll be pretty close. It'll be like, um, this one would be actually 70 five point three 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 okay but we'll round down to seventy five so again you won't have anything like fractions on the the test that you have to worry about but this kind of problem measure of angle b is two more than five times the measure of angle a you need to know how to do this problem okay so thanks for watching and happy studying we'll see you wednesday